So, this week, we are making pain tracks. We will be making two types of pancakes. One sweet, one savoury, one will be a crepe filled with cheese and ham. The other is going to be like banoffee pie pancakes. Somehow we're going to put banoffee pie into pancakes. So hang around. Without further ado, let us get straight into it. So for the crepes, we're going to be making our own ham. We're taking a gammon joint, placing it in some warm water, and then boiling that until it reaches an internal temperature of 72 degrees plus. Take it out, and that is your ham ready. Obviously the obligatory slap. Swiftly moving on to our crepe batter, into 125 grams of plain flour, you want to put a pinch of salt, followed by two eggs, and then 360 milliliters of whole milk. Once that's done, you want to whisk that until it's nice and smooth. Let's talk cheese. In a bowl, you want to combine equal parts, pizza mozzarella, and extra mature cheddar. I grated this myself, or just buy pre-grated. Let's get into cooking these bad boys. In a crepe pan, using a pastry brush, coat it very lightly with a neutral tasting oil. Once that is smoking hot, put a ladle full of your crepe batter into that. You want to then pick the pan up and tilt it around to get the batter in every little part of the pan. You want to make sure it covers the entire base of the pan. Once that's done, you want to cook this for about 45 seconds to a minute to a nice golden brown color on the bottom. Time to flip that baby. You could do a little pancake flip, but I didn't. Once flipped, put a generous handful of your grated cheeses onto the crepe just slightly off the center, along with some of your ham that's been cubed up and then let that sit for about 30 seconds after that you want to fold half the pancake over the other half of the pancake and now you want to let that sit for about a minute just so that cheese inside all melts flip it over revealing a nice golden brown side and then let that sit for about another 30 seconds and your crepe is ready to go our ham and cheese crepe is ready. It's looking pretty damn good. It's smelling pretty damn amazing. That pizza mozzarella, fingers crossed. I don't know why I've done that. It's gonna give us a nice cheese pull. But without further ado, oh yeah. <laughs> Ow, that's burning my finger because it's molten cheese. Mm. Wow, that is unbelievably good. The ham is really nice because it's juicy. We made it ourselves, so it's 10 times better. You can do a lot more with that ham. I'm just using it for this. Maybe we'll cover that in another video. The mix of cheeses, so you get nice strong flavor from the cheddar you get the the stringiness from the the pizza mozzarella which which everybody loves we all love a cheese pull um the crepe pretty pretty basic standard recipe but delicious make them for someone and they're gonna love you forever let's get on to the banoffee pie pancakes so th these ones are going to be even better th these are going to be so damn good. So without further ado, let's get straight into that. Into 200 grams of flour, you want to throw in one tablespoon of dark brown sugar, along with one teaspoon of baking powder, followed by three eggs and 200 milliliters of whole milk, and an additional 25 grams of melted butter. You want to whisk that all together until it is a nice and silky smooth. Okie dokie, for the biscuit element of the banoffee pie pancakes, we're going to be blending up Digested biscuits and lotus biscoff. Basically, you just want equal parts of both. Chuck them in the food processor and give that all a blend until you have a kind of a crumb like texture. Okay, toffee sauce, really simple 300 milliliters of double cream, 100 grams of dark soft brown sugar, 85 grams of butter, all into a pan and bring that to a boil. Be sure to whisk it constantly to avoid it sticking and burning. Pancake time, baby! On a low heat in a lightly oiled pan, you want to place in a ladleful of the American pancake batter. 
cooking that for one to two minutes until it is about halfway cooked. I flipped it a little bit early here, my B. You then want to flip that bad boy over once it has got a nice golden brown colour. And that's pretty much it. Cook it for another one to two minutes and that's your pancakes. Rinse and repeat. I highly recommend picking up one of these small frying pans. They are super handy for stuff like this. Just keeps everything one size, nice and uniform, and they cook really nicely in it. The next step is to caramelize some bananas. So take a banana, cut it in half, sprinkle some caster sugar on top, and caramelize it with a blowtorch or under your grill, set to the highest setting. Now it's time to assemble. Put two of your beautiful pancakes on there, a spoonful of that delicious toffee sauce, followed by a nice healthy pinch of the biscuit crumb that we made. After that, you want to go on top of that with your beautifully caramelized bananas. And last but not least, a nice dollop of lightly, very lightly whipped cream. Just, this kind of pulls the whole thing together. It wouldn't be banoffee pie without some cream on it anyway. Oh, and I forgot to say, garnish with a little grating of chocolate. Boom, you are ready to enjoy. Banoffee pie pancakes. It's got all the flavours, it's got the biscuits crumb, it's got the toffee sauce, it's got the cream, it's got the banana which we caramelised. Which is going to be damn good. A little bit of grated chocolate on top. Last thing is to try it. I don't mind if I do. Time to ruin my, my diet. I just kind of fancy pancakes and banoffee pies, so I thought I'd roll them into, into one. Whoa. That works unbelievably well. Damn, the banana, the cream and the toffee sauce seriously give the banoffee pie kind of vibes. The biscuit crumb adds texture, the chocolate just kind of rounded everything off and those American pancakes are just damn tasty. I love American pancakes, they're my favourite type of pancake. That is unbelievably good. I kind of surprised myself there. I, I wasn't sure what to expect when making this. It was just a random experiment to see if I could knock together the flavours of a banoffee pie and something that's not a banoffee pie. And it works really, really well. I recommend you go and try making this. Obviously the other ones are damn good. That was on another level for a crap. But this kind of blurred my socks off the salt in the sauce as well, so you get like the salted caramel. Mmm! God damn! I'm gonna go enjoy these. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. I hope you have all enjoyed this week's video. If you have, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and comment on anything I should make in the future. See you guys around.